Hi, welcome back. Welcome back. How are you doing today? Please comment. Please say how you're doing today. How are those goals going? All right, I hope you're doing well. Welcome viewers and first timers. Please, if you have not joined our community here yet, please subscribe click on that button so that when there's new content you get it too if you in like what you hear you like it you enjoy it click that like button the share button comment because i love to hear from you so we are continuing on with goal setting tips and tricks and encouraging you with things that helped me helped other people and that I find along the way that I think will boost you and encourage you um, on your journey to tackling these goals and achieving them today I will briefly touch on something we often forget to do and that is self-evaluation self-checking it's very important and we do forget to do that. So recently I heard someone inquiring from an audience on whether or not they should take their beautician to court due to them telling the person, call this person, person B, telling the person B that they're looking to close business so unfortunately would have to drop clients. So person B got very upset and got word that after being dropped, <laughs> their salon or their beautician did carry on business but at a new location. So they got very upset about that, that they were dropped and not told of this new location and she's continuing or he's continuing business without this person, this person B, who was their client for many, many years. So now we have to know what battles to pick. Without getting too much into person B, let's get some harsh truths out because person b surely did get some harsh truths from the audience that he asked or she asked and the majority of responses were telling person b to examine themselves yes examine themselves because there must have been a reason why the beautician must have dropped them in the first place, right? After having been with them so long, why would they drop them? And then for the audacity to want to put the beautician in court because they moved away, moved away probably from you. <laughs> for some reason, maybe something you did, you know, and moved away, you want to put them in court? Ah, uh, got a nerve. So the thing here is we need to just sometimes really just take a moment to self-examine, self-evaluate, self-check. All mean the same, but I must emphasize that sometimes the problem isn't the plan, the problem isn't others, or it's not the goal that you've set or even prayed about. It may be something that you yourself have done wrong or that needs some improvement. And all you simply need to do is self-check one thing that many of us overlook so we're human we certainly make mistakes so let's take that finger 
that we are many times quick to point towards someone else, right? Or something else and reverse that pointer to self. And then check, check where you may have gone wrong or what needs improvement, right? It might be small, it might be grand, it might be something you overlooked and didn't even realize. And you can just take a moment to apologize to that person, to make sure you get enough water because that's what's missing, to make sure you do whatever is necessary, right? to fix the problem at hand. Sometimes all it needs is that self-check. See where we have fallen short or need improvement in that certain area that can hinder your goal, can cause a friendship to be doomed, to be dropped, to, to, to lose sight of things that are necessary right so let's take that moment just a moment just that moment to self check to reflect on self simply to see if you may have been blocking your blessing causing people to drop you not achieving those goals you want to achieve also don't forget to pray about yourself Sometimes we pray for others, we pray for things, right? We pray for direction. But the self inside, the inner self that really needs to circle around and, you know, observe what we are doing wrong, right? Talk to self. Where did I mess up last week? Hmm? What did I say wrong? Could I have said something to offend her? And that's why she's upset? You know? Really think back as I tell my kids, take a moment at the end of the week and check your room, check your bed, check the floor, check the closet, you know? And see what's missing, see what needs to be picked up, see what needs to be folded, see what needs to be cleaned so that you're not overwhelmed when the things mount up and become a problem, right? Because my daughter, she sometimes say, oh, how did the room get like this? I'm like, I wonder too. Who should we look at? <laughs> self. So we got to do that self-check. Definitely do that self-check. You, It might be weekly. It might be daily. It might be monthly. We need to do it. However, Often you need to do it. Just take that moment to self-check, self-examine, examine, and see what's missing. See what needs improvement or what you've done wrong, okay? All right, so I want to hear from you. What do you think might, might you might need improvement in or on or what you could have done a little differently? Um... And what might be stopping your goals from being achieved and you know and that's a good thing when you know because you can fix the problem right or ask God ask God in to help you with whatever problem it is whatever needs improvement so you have a good day continue tackling those goals do not give up do not give up. There's light at the end of the tunnel. And you can get through this. Okay? You can. Reset. Refocus. And restart. Yes. That's what to do. Don't give up. Don't quit. I'm Andrea Eccles. Please don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button. Share. And definitely comment. Because I love to hear from you. Okay? So stay safe and see you until next time.